From this point onwards, you cannot deny a thing I say. It's your boy Zeke here on L and today I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be about types of teachers in your school that you definitely have. Now especially if you go to the same school as me, you definitely have these teachers because I've gone through every single teacher in my school, literally. I've gone through every single teacher on a piece of paper here, I've gone through every single teacher and I've put them in a category and what type of teacher they are. So I'm going to get straight into this video after I tell you to click the link in my description to go buy my merch and dice merchandise and then go and follow me on instagram add me on snapchat you know do all that thing i'm not gonna be on snapchat for some time i don't really snapchat right now is not my thing so you guys know anyway you know what to do like subscribe comment and we're gonna go straight into this video the first type of teacher that you have at your school definitely is the sweet teacher kind to you she when you see her in the corridor she says hi to you you can have a full-on conversation with the teacher and it's like you know there's like you're like almost friends even though it's a bit awkward to be friends with the teacher but also the teacher not is just isn't just nice to you outside the classroom but in the classroom she's like the only person you can talk to like not even your friends have the same relationship like have the same relationship as you with your teacher and i know when i say relationship with your teacher it sounds weird but this is the sweetest teacher ever she's sweet she's sweet i can't i swear like guys had a wind on the corner go to your school and buy your teacher because she's sweet as f i'm not even joking like this teacher can be so nice to you so kind she can instruct you whenever and she's like Harry Bowes, literally. She's like a pack of Harry Bowes. When you have her and have her and have her, you will get sick, okay? You will get sick when you're not learning anything because a sweet teacher is easy to get away with things. It is so easy to get away with things, literally. You can throw people around the classroom and the teacher wouldn't do anything about it because she's too nice. She used to feel guilty about telling you are. I mean, I had a teacher, a science teacher. She was, she was a serious teacher, but with me, because when I was younger, like when I was in year seven, eight, that was an old teacher in my second, first secondary school. Like, she, she said to me once, she was like, I would tell him off, but I would feel guilty. And I actually heard this, and I was like, well, don't say that out loud, because people are going to think you're favoritizing me. And so I was like, okay, well, that's nice of you. But this sweet teacher, it's easy to get away with stuff. I mean, you're not learning anything, especially in the stage where I am now, where, you know, you're in year 11 or year 10, and you're not doing the work you're supposed to be doing. That can backfire, like, badly. It can backfire terribly. So, a sweet teacher is a nice teacher when you're in years 7 to 9, but when you're in 10 to 11, it's not really ideal. The second type of teacher on my list is a serious teacher. A serious teacher is a teacher who you don't, you that you don't, you do your work when you're supposed to do it in class they let you talk some but not too much and a serious teacher is a really good teacher especially when it's like GCSE's time like you get your work done you know what to do they explain to you in a way that you would be able to understand you not know, like some teachers when they just explain to you like they have like we have one lesson like I get math because we spend a week on one topic but it's put into different sections like for example we spent like one week on like trigonometry and i get that now and we spent another week on um, pythagoras theorem and i get that now and now we're doing um i think solving quadratics and i get that now because my teacher explained it to me and that's a serious teacher my teacher is miss cooper and she's Good. super nice but she's serious when it comes to learning she doesn't play with that like that's not this type of shit that she does she is a focus teacher that's why i like this teacher so much and we need serious teachers because sweet teachers they're nice and all but when it comes to learning they're not the best like but a serious teacher you get your work done and they are the total not total opposite but they are very very different from this happens every single time Jeebus. They are very different from the next type of teacher I'm going to be telling you about. The third 
third type of teacher on our list is a angry teacher. Um, who's an angry teacher? We don't, in my school, we don't really have a teacher who gets really, really angry really quickly. Apart from Mrs. O'Dwyer, she gets pretty pissed quick. Or um, that creepy um, French teacher, the one, the old one. I don't know what her name is. I don't want to know what her name is. I didn't take French, so I don't know. But we have the angry teacher. I remember my old school. Oh my God, behind this teacher, I'll never forget his name, Mr. Chalice. Oh my gosh, he was the my parents are watching an um, African film downstairs and there's like high pitched screeching and everything. But anyway, this teacher's name was Mr. Chalice and I will never forget him because he was the scariest teacher in the school. Like, as soon as you entered his classroom, it was a dead silent zone. You did not make a sound until you left that room. And we always used to go to lunch late because he would be like, finish the sentence you're on. If you didn't finish it to his standards, you were staying back. There was no, oh, you do it for homework. Like now, no. Back then, if you didn't do your homework or you didn't do his standard of work, you were kept back after school or it, during lunch and he wouldn't let you out until you'd done it the way he wanted to. And his detentions were bad. His detentions were terrible. Like you'd sit there and you'd be quietly silent. You would not make a sound. And that was his classroom. He liked it like that. And one boy made a joke saying that I bet on his wedding day, his wedding picture was, his smile was this. How could you smile like this? Like it's just, oh my god, my camera. My camera like went down. What the heck? Oh shit. My thing's running out of battery. I'm making a charger. Oh snap. Gotta plug in the charger. And I'll be back on my story about Mr. Chalice. Okay, so I saved my phone from dying. I had to plug in my phone over there. But anyway, back to my story about Mr. Chalice. He was the scariest teacher ever and you did not mess with him. And that was an angry teacher. He used to get angry. He used to go from one to 100 in 0 0.3 split seconds. Like, it was so scary. Like, when he snapped, you'd be like, oh my God. Like, you'd be like, ah, earthquake. You'd like, you do the whole ground tremble. Like, it was just so bad. And no one used to mess with him and the angry teachers you don't really have a communication with them like you kind of blocked up there's like a wall between you and that wall is like Donald Trump and the Mexicans and the Mexicans is ba the, the wall basically is his anger you like you do not want to be on the other side of that wall or was you like like you want to get over you don't want the wall to be there but his anger he was just so angry and people didn't like if I was still in my old school then he would be my head of year right now. And that would be, un well, unless he died, unless he died. Because he was pretty old back then. Unless he's dead or left or retired, that's the only reason why how he wouldn't be my head of year. But if he's still alive and he's still off at school, yeah, he'd be my head of year. And he was so scary. No one used to mess with him, everyone used to do that homework. That was the only lesson. You heard no complaints from any child. Is my camera going slow again? Okay. Well, yeah, that was, that was it. That was simple. You don't mess with Mr. Chalice. And those type of teachers, you don't want to get on their bad side. Because I think, you think you've seen their bad side, but when you actually see their bad side, it's a whole lot of trouble. Number four, and my last person, or last teacher, is the creepy teacher. The creepy teacher can also be called the pedophile teacher or the pedophile teacher because when they're around or around you, you feel like something's gonna happen to you. Like I remember today we were in PE, we were getting changed and my teacher came into the room and he was like standing behind my friend and I felt sorry for my friend was like, oh my god, what the fuck's going on? But you know, we have that creepy teacher who's always around. Like whenever you're like whenever like you You'd be sitting on eating, you'd look up and he'd be staring at you. It was like The Conjuring or Annabelle. Like, you look up and the doll would be staring straight at you. It was like my friend's dream. Because my friend had a dream about a doll staring at her. And she woke up and the doll was actually staring at her. And she threw the doll in the attic. I learned that today and that was pretty funny though. But you have that creepy teacher who stares at you or looks at you or does things that... Like, he asked my friend, like, he asked my ex-friend to pull her skirt down. And I, well, not my ex friend. Well, he asked the girl in my year who, okay, you know what? You know what? He asked the girl in my year to pull her skirt down, and she was like, Why are you looking at my skirt? 
she, um, we also asked my friend Michelle to uh, like how did she get home and he was like oh you want me she's like yeah um but you know he, he's kind of creepy but we've had there's three teachers in our school who who we call pedophiles but I'm not gonna name them obviously but if you go to my school you know one of them has actually left and there's actually two left at our school but they're gonna go soon anyway but these are the people teachers who are always around you like literally it's like the freak show like they're always around you no matter what like you don't know what to do when you see them you feel in danger like you're like oh my god he's gonna pounce anytime soon like it's just this, this just weird type of teacher who's just they're like it's like walking halloween basically they're like a walking halloween it's like Halloween is teaching you in your school instead of maths, it's teaching you how to be a creeper. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that brings an end to our video. So, well, not our, well, yeah, it brings an end to the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you like my YouTube channel. I have other content uh, which I think you might find satisfactory, but you know, I don't know what your taste is. It taste is. I might do another video about you know types of friends at a party that was what i was meant to do today but then i was like hey why don't do something that's school related so bye alicia